Sinking of the SS Persia. Date and location. The SS Persia was sunk on December 30, 1915, in the Mediterranean Sea near Crete during World War I. Vessel details. The SS Persia was a British P&O passenger liner, known for its luxurious accommodations and regular route between the United Kingdom and the Far East. Neutral status. Despite being a civilian vessel, the Persia was carrying passengers and cargo during a time when unrestricted submarine warfare was a threat. Torpedoed by U-38. The sinking occurred when the German submarine U-38, commanded by Captain Max Valentiner, fired a torpedo at the Persia. Passenger Manifest. The Persia was carrying over 500 people, including passengers and crew, with many being British and Indian civilians. Casualties. Of the 501 people on board, 343 lost their lives in the sinking, including 18 women and 36 children. British response. The sinking of the Persia caused outrage in Britain, as it violated traditional maritime laws that protected civilian vessels. German justification. The Germans claimed the Persia was carrying war materiel, justifying its sinking under their policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. Lack of warning. Contrary to established maritime practices, the U-38 did not provide any warning before launching the torpedo. Lifeboat challenges. The rapid sinking of the Persia created difficulties for passengers and crew to launch lifeboats, leading to a higher loss of life. Sinking in sight of land. The Persia sank within sight of the Greek island of Crete, adding to the tragedy as potential rescue was close by. Survivors rescued. Survivors were eventually rescued by passing ships, including the British vessel SS Naldera. Impact on passenger liners. The sinking contributed to increased tensions and fear for passengers traveling on civilian vessels during the war. Naval escort controversy. The Persia's lack of naval escort became a point of controversy, as it was not accompanied by a warship for protection. Propaganda value. The sinking was used in Allied propaganda to highlight the brutality of German submarine warfare against civilian targets. U-boat tactics. The sinking of the Persia exemplified the ruthless tactics employed by German U-boats in an attempt to cut off British supply lines. International repercussions. The sinking further strained diplomatic relations and fueled anti-German sentiment internationally. Complications in identification. The Persia's neutral status and lack of clear markings complicating the identification of the ship, leading to the tragic mistake. Censorship measures. The British government initially imposed censorship on reporting the sinking, fearing negative public reactions. Post-war investigations. After the war, investigations into the sinking raised questions about the actions of U-38 and the justification for attacking a passenger liner. War loss compensation. The sinking led to claims for war loss compensation, highlighting the financial impact on the families of the victims. Memorials and commemorations. Memorials and commemorations were held for the victims, including plaques and services in various locations. Legacy in maritime law. The sinking influenced discussions on maritime laws and the protection of civilian vessels during times of conflict. Remains of the Persia. The wreckage of the Persia lies at a depth of about 4,000 meters, making it challenging for exploration or salvage. Historical remembrance. The sinking of the SS Persia remains a somber chapter in maritime history, symbolizing the tragic consequences of unrestricted submarine warfare on civilian lives.